got this microphone and I thought it might help me do uh, better videos in the future and it came with this uh, holding bracket that uh, has this tripod on it and I don't think this is particularly useful for me the uh, threads how the tripod attaches to the bracket are very fine and I don't have anything that comes close to that so I think what I'm going to do is disconnect the bracket from the tripod take the screw out and this little tongue here will slide into a groove in my new bracket. I want to attach it to my tripod where the camera's sitting right now and I also have a microphone boom that I sometimes use to hold a camera and it would be nice if I could attach this thing to either one as I go. So I just did a little sketch here to lay out some ideas. I'm going to make it out of these PVC scraps and I'll cut a piece that has a slotted holder on it that this piece will go into sort of like that and then this is just a bracket with a cutout here to clamp onto the tubular legs and parts of the boom in the tripod. So here are all the pieces. All the hardware is quarter 20. Uh, this is most of the hardware I have in my shop. This is a toilet flange bolt. I picked this up, I think, at McMaster Car. I ordered a box of them, so I have like 12 or something. I got these on Amazon, again, a quarter 20. I think I had to buy a bag of 25, so I have plenty of these hanging around, and this is just a common quarter 20 nut. And the two jaws, this is the one with the groove in it that holds the actual microphone. The nut just sits in the mortise no adhesive needed. For these jaws I just flared them out a little bit using a hand plane, a little bit of filing and sanding. I wanted them to be not quite circular so that they could grab different diameter poles and still get a reasonable amount of friction. And I kept this tongue on it, I just thought it would give it a little more uh, leverage as you clamp down on it. I'm not sure that's really doing anything but it seemed like a good idea at the time. So to assemble This sits through here and screws into the nut. It sits in a little bit of a mortise and you tighten that down. That's pretty good. That sits in that mortise. Jaw goes on and the thumb screw on. And there is the assembly. Well here it is completed. It's not the most beautiful or the fanciest contraption I've ever done but it does seem to work and it's functional. The screw sits in a mortise and loosen it and open the jaws quite a bit to fit into the larger tube of my tripod or it can close down to fit the smaller diameter of, my, um, of the microphone boom. This nut in here is just sitting in a mortise to hold it in place and this uh, doesn't need to hold a truck. This only turns a little bit and I don't think that's going to be anything of great need. And even on here, the friction fit in here seems to be good enough to hold a microphone. And here it is mounted to the microphone boom. Just to give you an idea, the camera mounts here of course. And finally here it is mounted on the tripod. Well, this wasn't my most elaborate build, but I am happy to say I literally got this done in an afternoon, so that was good. Didn't think it would take long, and it actually worked out that way for a change. As always, I appreciate you coming by my shop, seeing the things that I'm up to. I hope maybe uh, viewing this video gave you some ideas if you have some of these challenges of your own to resolve, and I look forward to seeing all you guys on the next one.